you, everybody. You may be seated. Thank you, Wayne, for the awesome. Do I need a microphone? I don't think so. <laughs> you? Okay. No. Okay, so we'll set that in here. Just in case you can't hear me, if I digress just a little bit, we have the microphone as standby, okay? Right. So I am so excited to be here. So one of the things I like to do when I first introduce people is I do one thing first. I'm just going to show it to you. <laughs> everybody smile with me. Everybody smile. That's the first thing that you should do when you introduce yourself to people is just smile. It makes all the world a difference. Can you feel that? Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Look at him. He's got a good smile. This guy right here. I like him. I'm not So I'm so excited about today and all of you taking the time to come out here, so we're going to make it worth your while because we know that you have to have something to walk out of here with, right? Am I right? Hi. And this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to start out by telling you a story. How many of you like to hear stories? Raise your hand. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this story. When I was a kid, when girls thought I was cute, okay, way back then, right? And so way back then, all of a sudden, somebody came to our house and they knocked on the door. And I was the one to answer the door. And he goes, hello, are your parents home? And I'm like, well, who are you? You never even said, who are you, you know? And he says, well, I just need to talk to your parents. It's very important I talk to them. So I got my mother. So she, he went ahead and started talking to her. Next thing I know, I could hear him talking. And I could hear him talking about books. And so she said, well, step in. He gave a presentation. He pulled open a manual. And he starts showing all these different pages of these different things that he had. Next thing I know, she signed it, wrote him a check. And guess what we had? <laughs> this is what we purchased. That was my first introduction to my Google. I was so fascinated by those books right there. I was so fascinated, I could not keep out of them. I was constantly in them, every single point I could get into it. And that was my journey of specialized knowledge. Now, you heard the saying that knowledge, uh, knowledge without, you know, power, knowledge, somebody help me out here. What does it say? Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Specialized knowledge, because I've reversed it. Specialized knowledge alone is not power. That's right. Shared specialized knowledge is power. That's what he did. He shared, even though he sold it to us because he was making money for a living, right? He went ahead and he gave it to us. So what happened with that idea right there, that was my journey. So then the next specialized knowledge that I was really fascinated was with the radio. I would turn on the radio and I would listen to this story, right? And this man would tell a story every day. And he, the way he ended the stories were so incredible. So one day he was interviewed by Larry King. And Larry King asked him, how do you get such incredible stories? And he says, well, I don't get the stories. I just give my team a couple of keywords to go by, and by the time I get to the office early in the morning, they have all these stories that I could pick and choose from. And notice he said keywords, but they went ahead and they did the research. He had a whole staff that did this research. When they did the research, he pulled from these stories. He had the most credible in stories, and guess what he would say before he would tell you? The rest of, of the story, story was Paul Harvey. Tonight. And that was my other fantasization with, my, with words, key words. So now we go into key words, and I'm so excited to ask you this question today. If you think about this without me giving you any description of anything <laughs> in your personal life, your business life, what are your key words? Just think about that for a second. If I was to come up to you right now, and you were to write them down, if you don't have them, write them down, because I'm going to call on you. I might. Uh, what are your key words? Who are you? Basic question is, who are you? So let me define how you could get those words. If we were to take goal planning, right, there are certain ways, there were certain systems that taught us, I want this, right, and I want that. But what was that problem? That was future tense, right? So that meant if we were going to do that, we weren't going to get nothing today, right? 
But what's a better absolute phrase to use for today? Can somebody help me out? I am a success. I expect to succeed today. Do you see the difference? If you continuously say, I want to do these things, then that's going to always happen in the future. But we're talking about today. I, I want success today. I want something to take place today. Don't you want to walk out of this room and have something take place today? Yes or yes? Yes. Yes, yes absolutely. Why wait? Why do we want to wait? What's holding us back today? Is there anything holding us back? Nothing, right? So we're going to do that today. So with that in, in, in our thought process, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about keywords, a subject, not an object, but first we're going to go for the subject of keywords. Now I just got to use this little tool here. See that? That's a green dot. That's going to be part of the presentation here in a little while. See that? That's a green dot. Okay. So one of the things that was so awesome about one of my fascinations with keywords was these guys, Google. Google came down with a science, and I'm going to give you the formula today. So we're going to talk about technology, but we're not only going to talk about technology, we're going to talk about a, a, a formula, but we're going to talk about your personal self, how you can be a better you by just walking out of this room today. Guaranteed this will work. Now, but I want to use Google as an example. First of all, Google, what they did is it's called a search engine. How many of you have not used Google? Nobody <laughs> in this room is raising their hands. That means everybody has. It's a household word. You've heard people say, just Google me, right? Now, you can tell me how good your brand is, but guess what? Google is actually going to tell me how good your brand really is. And that's what we're going to talk about. What is your keywords today? So here it is. What are your keywords today? First, let's define how Google thinks about keywords. It's one of the most important things. If we do a search in Google, so we're just going to do a search real quick, and I'm going to define them. So we're going to go and we're going to say, uh, Take that word out and just say Sacramento. And in Sacramento, we're going to use these descriptions just to define what are your keywords. So right here, we have what is called the title. City of Sacramento, cityofsacramento.org is the website. Right below it is the description, and then you have the keywords. Okay? So that tells us they're ranked number one. So if you want to find your keyword or a good keyword to use, I suggest you Google, Google it first, right? To find out what everybody else is doing. Then you can see all the other things of what it is. So you've got a title, you've got a description, and then you have your keywords. So now we're talking personal and business, right? Now, right now, I'm showing you the online version, but we're also going to take it offline. So, but first I want to show you what it is and how to define your keywords. We just defined that you have an absolute phrase that you want to use. I am. So what are one of your key words? So if I was to use my key words, and I'm not going to tell you what my key words are right now, and I just want somebody here, April, to give me one of a key word that you think of me. Happy. She got it. That was my number one word. Okay, now, it, 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 she kind of, you know, she knows me, but that's one thing. But that's the idea. Do you see the difference? Happy. Now, was she right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, she was right. So now I exude happy, happiness. And then you can go on with the next words, the next words. Do you see how this works? So you're going to define your personal and then your, you, who you are as your subject, not your object, because that's going to come to your business part, right? So then you're going to go ahead and define those things. Now, what's so amazing about this is when you do it, you begin to define habits that you have, habits. So here it is. We make our habits, right? Because whatever we do, we tend to make them according to who we are, right? And then, what, guess what happens? Habits makes us. Whatever our habits are, that's who we are. So what we need to do is define what those habits are with keywords so that people can find us 
and maybe not in Google, maybe you don't have a website. That's okay. Right now you're thinking, well, Robert, I don't have a .com, so what is this going to do for me? It doesn't matter. Watch what's going to happen here in a second. But just in case, we will talk about that in a second. Just remind me. So the keywords are very important. <coughs> if a website is about the city of Sacramento, keywords need to go in there for the city of Sacramento. So what is the city of Sacramento? One of the keywords is city of trees. Have you ever heard that, that mm -hmm. phraseology? City of trees. River city. So you could go. Somebody else give me another keyword about Sacramento. There we go. Big word. If you have something about Sacramento you're saying, you should say something about the capital. So if you really want to introduce somebody to uh, appreciate them. Now, just to show you something about appreciation, where it's going, a lost art of appreciation, the number one principle is praise, right? Number one principle is praise. Where did that come from? What book? The book. Bible. Bible one, that's the main book. Second one, personal development. Principle number one, praise. There you go, Dale Carnegie, he got it. How to win friends and influence people. So appreciation and respect should be the next two words. So if you really want to edify somebody, you want to introduce that person, this is Chris Lombardo from Out Grove, California, or Sacramento, California, the capital of California. Do you see the difference there? Now, what happens because How to Win Friends and Influence People is such an old school book, right? What year was it written in? Yeah, 1930, something like that. But look at this, what it says. In the digital age. In the digital age. Now they figured out that this is so important that now we need to convert it over to the digital age. And this is what we're talking about. Human development, human behaviors in the digital age. So here's something else that I want to read you that's pretty interesting about human behavior. Human behavior is 90%. 90% is predictable or it is whatever we're doing. It's 90% of our behavior. So if you want to figure out how, what's your measure of success, just figure out your behavior, your habits, and then your keywords. So speaking about keywords, now that we know that you're going to Google them, right? And those are going to be your keywords, but then you're going to define your keywords. I suggest today, before you walk out of this room, <laughs> have in your mind, Five keywords, your main keywords. So write them out. So when you walk out of this room or when you're talking to somebody to do a one on one, you're going to go ahead and know what those keywords, and that person's going to feel that energy. Each word comes with energy. So if, if, we say, if we say a negative word, let's take two words in a comparison abundance and ex excessive. Now, what, which word would you think would get the best results, abundance or excessive? Abundance. abundance, right? So there you go. So that's what I want you to do is pick the best words for you. And when you do that, we're going to give you some tips here and where to find those out. But right now, I want to bring up my good friend, Chris Lombardo. And Chris Lombardo has a, a, a very unique, awesome story to tell you. And we worked on these concepts. Now, these concepts are not new concepts. They've been around for years. They've been there. Now we're just specialized. We're putting them in a specialized category for knowledge. Now, Chris, I'm going to reveal who he is here in just a second. You're going to be amazed who this man is. But right now, Chris, you, you had something. We played around with some keywords. And what were the results? What do we do with the keywords, first of all, without naming what the business is or what it was we were doing the project? but it was your own, your own benefit. You benefited from it, so define those. Let us know what happened. Tell us your, your version. <clears throat> About nine years ago, November 2nd, uh, my wife and I, we were, dabbling around with, um, we were dabbling around with eBay and kind of things like that, and my wife decided, well, you know, you, you buy these baby clothes for $2 and you sell them for $1.95 and you know, you lose money. So I um, asked... Uh, Oh, you want that? <clears throat> All right, here you go. Is that better? Yes. All yes. right. So um, we called Robert up and said, Robert, we got an idea. We want to do something. And we asked, my wife said, I just want to sell one thing. And that's it, one thing. So she drove around and found that one thing. And it was in abundance for us. And uh, back nine years ago, we said, 
Robert, I'm going to put a website together. Can you help us? And uh, that's when Robert was, uh, he just went to school and he was hacking. I mean, uh, he was doing stuff on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so uh, he and I have been good friends. Let me tell you, Robert and I have been friends for 25 plus years. Okay, I know his family. Um, that made him, what, three or four years old? <laughs> He looks good. I mean, he's, you ever see his mother? His mother is like 80 years old. She looks like she's 85. 40, 85. Yes. 85. Okay. She looks like she's 45. Okay. Robert's almost 50, or he's turned 50. He looks 70, but he's doing right. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but I know this man, and I trusted him. And he was dabbling in some stuff, and he was experimenting. And I said, Robert, we want this product, and we want to uh, make a website. So he says, this is what you got to do. Here's a couple things you need to do. And he gave us some key words. We've never heard key words before, okay? Um, so he says, try this or try that. It was to a point where, put it this way, I messed around with my own, and I called him up, oh, Robert, I'm nowhere to be found on the internet anymore. He goes, do this, do this, do this. And within 24 hours, I was number one again. Let me tell you this. The only advertising that I make on my website after nine years on the internet because of this man right here. And he's taught me a lot. The only advertising, the only money I spent was putting on every five years I re 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 put money down on my domain name. That's it. Everything else was free. Why? Because you're in the right place at the right time using the right keywords and you I'm not going to reveal what it is, but absolutely, for the last nine years, no competition. Let me tell you who our, our, some of our uh, people are, that uh, our clients. Walt Disney World. Ralph Polo, uh, uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Yeah, like Ralph Lauren, whatever. Uh, Jones and Soda Company. Smithsonian. Okay. Um, uh, I can't even tell you. We've had... Uh, uh, Hilton Hotels. Google. <laughs> Google. Google had a Christmas party. And you don't understand Google's Christmas party. Okay? You ever been down to was a candlestick park or the department under? And right next to it, there's warehouses. Okay? These warehouses are 300 yards long. They're a thousand foot long. Google's birthday party, Christmas party, four of those were Google's Christmas parties. And when you walked in, it was a different, a different theme. Every 100 feet was a different theme. Okay, I mean they had scuba guys hanging from the ceiling. It was Neptune's castle, and then another one was you know uh, Lady Godiva or I don't know. It was a whole bunch of stuff. It was incredible. And right in the middle of the whole Google party was my product. <laughs> Number one position, number, not only number one, number two, number three, and number four positions for years. And then this thing came out, yeah. and we're number one. And then Yelp, number one. I mean, it's because of keywords this man right here helped me set up, and we've been enjoying a six week income <laughs> part time from that. From that uh, plus, one little bit of help. Plus taking the trips. Yeah, we take trips. And uh, it's all paid for by our website that pays us 24-7, 365. Never calls in sick, never takes a break. No, no. So <laughs> if, uh, boy, I want to tell so much more, but this guy right here, the, I trust him. The, and it made it work. So. Let me stay right there, Chris. Now, this is awesome, folks. Now. Now I got your attention, right? You're saying, okay, Robert, what is about these keywords? I got your attention now, huh? Now, let me, let me show you a couple things. Now, first of all, that, that's an awesome story. Thank you for that, Chris. It, it is incredible, that's folks. So uh, they, they were the, the leader of influence in that industry, and as soon as they came out, <laughs> competitors came out like crazy, huh? But we were the first ones there. Now, I want to give you a little 
little interview let here. Me, let, me, let me tell you, okay, let me tell my story, ahead. okay. Listen, listen to this, okay? This is where successful thinkers comes in place. Yes. Okay? This is where successful thinkers comes in place. Uh, Jim Bellicera, Robert Bellardi, others in this room, the leaders in this room. This is what successful thinkers taught me. So where you're sitting at right now, okay? You are not my competition. You're my partner. Right. You're my business partner. Because what I do, you can't do. What you do, I can't do. Right. So I've got, I've got, a, I've got a, we're getting, we're getting 5,000 hits a month on our website. Okay? Product driven. I haven't even put all the products up yet. We are featured on Fox News. Okay? We, we just, we just got done, and it's just um, unbelievable. So when I go to an event and I see somebody that has my product that I deal with, I walk up to him, shake, shake his hand, and I said, hi, my name is Chris. How did you get started in this? Tells me his whole story. I take a second to, to prove something to you of networking. He tells me exactly what he does. He's got products that I don't use, I don't have. But we, we're in the same business. So I say, what do you do? Where's your website? Oh, I don't have a website. You know how it is. It's really hard to get up there in the sites. You're on my page 95. And I go, well, I'm on page number one. What do you mean? I said, well, I do the same thing you do. Oh, you're, you're trying to steal my stuff. No, 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 no. Let me ask you something. Are you on page one? No, I am. <laughs> I said, you got stuff here that I can dream of selling. That... Let me ask you a question. He goes, well, you're my competition. I said, no, you're my business partner. He goes, what do you mean? I said, because I want to sell that on my site and pay you to, for me to sell that. He goes, you'd sell my products on your site? I said, do we have a partnership? He goes, I said, I can sell 40 to 50 of those a month. He goes, put it here, partner. <laughs> Be why? Because we're not competition. We're now partners in this. And you know what? That guy calls my wife up, calls her honey and darling and everything. He makes, he makes a good five figures a, month, uh, a year on my website. Well, what does that make? I make a little bit, but it's better than a kick in the pants, right? I would have never got that product, never got that service, never got that money if it wasn't for networking. You're, you gotta work together here. And this is what Robert and I have been we discussing late nights, two, three o'clock in the morning for years we've been up discussing things. And this guy's got it all together. Let's stay right there. We're not done. Now we're going to reveal who he is. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you have a business card? Well, I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Um, What's your voice? <clears throat> What's my voice? Yeah. How do you, how do you, when I ask you for your business card and you... Oh, yeah. yeah. That business card. <laughs> well, I don't have it here with me, but uh, yeah, I, 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 got, I got some perforated bandages. I can give to you on your call when you Tissue paper? Toilet okay. paper? Toilet paper. Okay, thank you. Now, how many of you ever watched the Successful Thinkers TV <laughs> channel and watched the websites? And there's two in specific. One about your Facebook profile that Jim and this guy did. He was the anchor man. And then there was another one where he was, uh, he was in a, a real live network mixer, what not to do in a business network mixer. Do you remember that video? Did anybody Clyde. see this? This is Clyde, folks. Clyde. <laughs> the real life Clyde. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> that is Clyde right there. So I just wanted to enlighten you just a little bit. So here's what we're going to do with the keywords. I'm going to give you some top-notch secrets. Behind the scene of Google, they do this, but I'm going to give them to you in real life, so get your notepads out. You just heard the man <laughs> tell you the results. We can go on about that story and tell you where this is really at, but here it is. Number one is, what I want to talk about this is, many people fly through life by the seat of their pants. When their efforts are unsuccessful, they are unsure of how to prevent the negative outcome in the future. When they get it right, they can replicate it or duplicate it and teach it to others, okay? And this is how many people go through life. They don't know what they did good or they don't know what they did bad. They just know they did something. If it was good, you can't go back to them and say, how did you do it so we can repeat that process? They can't tell you. I'm here to tell you today. First thing is your keywords. Why are your keywords so important to you? Because they're your keywords and not my keywords. 
So what that means is there's one key word, like happy to me is, April guessed my number one key word. Happy is very deep in my heart, okay? It means something to me. So it's not only an uh, out, outward type thing, it's an inward. So inward going outward is part of me. It has a lot of meaning to me. It has spirituality to me. It has definition. It has business meaning to me. It has personal meaning to me. Do you get what keywords are? They have to mean something to you. They have to have a purpose. They have to have a passion. Because when you, they do, what happens for you is now you've got the goods. Now, folks, when I went into the bookstore and I was looking at these books right here, I was amazed in, they call it different things in different bookstores, self-help, um, you know, self-discovery and all these things. How many books there was on happiness? How to be happy? How to be that? How to be whatever, right? And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I'm such a happy guy. I could write a book about this, about being happy. I got the key to success of how to be happy. I could teach this. Well, I'm not going to teach it to you today, but I will the next time. Okay? But I was amazed at that, and I got a lot of notes from there, and I was just amazed at the whole thing. So here's the concept, the formula. You heard of the, the saying that says, we're all six degrees of separation apart, right? How many of you heard that? Yes? Okay. Now, that's old school. Six degrees, right? That meant that number one person, two, three, four, five, six, by the time you get to six, likely that person's going to know me or somebody in that mix of six, right? So that's six degrees of separation. Now, not so anymore. Irrelevant. Old school. Done. Six pixels of separation is now, meaning these little dots is a pixel. These little dots, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's it. So now you can click that with one button because if you're clicking on a picture, Mr. Photographer Bruce over there could tell you what is the average pixelation of digital pictures. Four thousand pixels. So now, if we're all separated by six pixels of separation, he just says there's 4,000. There's a whole lot of people in that one picture that we know, that knows that person that knows and knows and knows and knows and knows. The way you're going to connect with those people is through your keywords. If I don't know where you're from and I don't know who you are, how do I know to connect you with other people if I don't know what you do? At some point in time, we're going to know what everybody does, right? Because I know that Bruce does photography because he took a picture of me and made me look good, okay? I know that for a fact. So what ends up happening, that's why these keywords are so important. When I know that you have these keywords, I know you're in my mind and it automatically happens. Now here's what happens with that. Even though your keywords are with you, you don't have to memorize them. I don't have to memorize mine. I probably have 300 right now written down. But here's what happens. Because you wrote them down, it makes you aware of your networks and everywhere you walk in life of those keywords automatically. So if my number one is happy, guess what I connect with? It, it always happens. If I walk into a store, a grocery store, and I'm just walking in like this, right? I connect with all the happy people in the store. It just happens. Okay, now you could go on with your next keyword and your next keyword. It's just going to happen. Was I planning on that? No, I was not planning on that. But subconsciously or unconsciously, I was. Now watch this. Now, you know about the unconscious mind and the conscious mind, right? So what ends up happening there, incoming, all the programming incoming goes directly to the subconscious or the unconscious, right? So what happens when that gets programmed, it doesn't know right from wrong, right? So it's just got all this information. So now we have to consciously let that information know who we are. So when you connect in agreement, the unconscious, the subconscious, and say, yes, yes, on both sides, that's who you are. Because your consciousness just agreed to everything. So now you can walk adequately and know who you are. Somebody asked me one day, and, and this is not arrogant or anything, but I just, I have this one key word. 
And in today's society, would you agree that it's pretty rough out there? Mm -hmm. Everywhere you hear, you hear of negative situations, personal situations, you know, things. That, now, now, I know we have to be sensitive to that, right? But I have one key word I just love because I love, I love victory, the thrill of victory. And here it is. I'm a champion. So everywhere I walk, I walk like I'm the champion. And guess what happens when I walk into the grocery store? They start asking me questions about the things on the shelf as if I'm the general manager of the store. <laughs> because I'm a champion. I walk in there as such. And that's what happens. That's the key words. Now, let's define some of your key words just a little bit. And how do we get more defined in the key words? Google Trends is one of the tools that we use. This is a high valuable tool that we always use to do comparison of keywords. What you do is you put in one or many keywords into the search, and it's Google Trends, so it's google.com slash trends, and I put in Sacramento and Elk Grove. So if you're promoting your business or you're promoting yourself, you would want to use the higher caliber keyword. Like we talked about before, abundance, excessive. What's the higher caliber? Abundance, not excessive, right? So you wouldn't tell somebody, I'm an excessive successful person. <laughs> you see, you wouldn't say that. You would say, I'm an abundantly successful person or something like that. Or somebody would describe you as such. So, knowing that the capital is Sacramento and Elk Grove is part of Sacramento County, you would use the keyword Sacramento. So you put it in, comma, Elk Grove, and then here's what it pulls up. Now you're gonna be amazed at this, in whatever color that is, blue, or it looks like blue is Sacramento and Elk Grove is red. Now look at this, here's the trends. It starts from 2004, 2005, 2006, 7, 8, 9, all the way to 11. And it shows you all the searches being done for Sacramento compared to Elk Grove where it flatlined. Now don't let the flatline bother you because in Google, if it's a flatline, it's still producing thousands and thousands and thousands of searches. But over here to your right, it's showing what are some of the most relevant things that are showing up in the news. This is a news feed. Now what happens is we scroll down just a little, and this is very interesting right here, the key words shows you the regions of countries that have the most <laughs> highest searches and the number one obviously is United States, but look at this. Brazil, Canada is still searching for it. Cities, the number one city that's being searched on from is Carmichael. That's amazing. See, you would never know this. Remember, we talked about specialized knowledge. Remember, we talked about defining not to go by life by the, the seat of your pants. We're getting defined here, people. This is powerful information. Second one is McClellan Air Base or California, whatever it is. Number three is Sacramento on the list. That's amazing. Who would know that? So now you know how to target yourself, who, where to go, how to go with these keywords, and it goes down the list. Now look at this, English, and then it goes uh, Portuguese and then Spanish. So these are the things that you want to use this tool and calibrate your keywords. Now, there's a concept in a book, and it talks about the keywords, just like we're talking about them right now. Not the Google keywords, but just words in general, right? So what it does, it gives you a whole list. This one guy found the words. So we know that when we're looking at people, there's some people that have a higher caliber than other people, right? We know that, right? So if we go down to the business district of Sacramento at lunchtime, we know we're going to see a higher caliber of people, you know, of them, right? So now when you look at the keyword caliber, then you could take another word and say it's the calibration. Ah, what's the calibration? of the caliber depends on how you're going to navigate it. Income could produce what the calibration is going to be um, and then whatever else it's going to be, right? So here's the key thing to the whole whole system right here. Is that three minutes, Jim, or that we got on the clock or overall in the universe? The universe. Okay, the universe. We're, we're good, see? We know this. <laughs> universe. If you show up, one of the secrets to success is showing up and the universe responded. And because I showed up and I'm speaking, it just responded by Jim telling me I have three minutes left, okay? <laughs> That's the universe showing up. So here's the thing, as we sum up everything, folks, I think you get the idea, but the calibration, the higher you could raise those caliber of keywords, 
the, the higher you're going to get those people showing up in front of you automatically. But you got to know your keywords. Now, in Google, I said, if you don't have a website, that's okay. Guess what we have? Social networking, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. So I want to show you how to connect with these people real quick. In my account, I put different things. This is in your info section of Facebook, right? So you go to them. So now I'm going to show you one. This one's a real, I like this one. It's called influencers. That's a keyword. I click on influencers. When I click on influencers, it goes to their fan page. And there it says you and your four friends like this. So now I click on the link below it. My four friends that like influencers is this. So now I can just click on any one of their names. Randy C. Wilson, click on him, instant message him, or mail him, say, hey, Randy, man, I, I know that your keyword is influencers. I went on the web page. They got a new video. Did you see that? I just generated a lead. I just connected with my keywords. Do you see that? So you could do that all day long. If you don't have a website, LinkedIn. You go to LinkedIn, you go to the, the area, and it says, what's your expertise? All the keywords you can figure out who you are and what you are, your personal and business, you can list them right there. Those are all searchable in Google. But the most important thing out of this message today, people, is who are you? What are your keywords? And that's the presentation today. So let's talk about this afterwards. Who are you and what are your keywords? Thank you very much.